paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. I, that was fucking stupid. <laughs> <Why> <laughs> Got you. <laughs> hey, well, hi, everyone, and welcome to Ready Meet RC's Facebook Friday. We host a video every Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time so we can share with all of you the latest products that arrived and are on the way to us. Uh, we also want to answer any questions you guys may have. Uh, we also discuss other FPV and RC related subjects from time to time. I'm Alex and this is Ryan. What's up guys? And uh, we have some cool stuff to show you today. So we'll get started with uh, Ryan. He's got some, some new stuff. Yeah, all right. So we don't have too much to go over today, but we got a few good items in this past week that I think you guys might enjoy. Um, first one I'm going to talk about is the uh, Runcam Night Eagle. Um, this camera does really well at nighttime. Uh, it's really light um, case. Go to the side camera here. Um, you know, a typical run cam setup. You know, same case that it has uh, in the box. It comes with the camera bracket and the cables that you need. Again, this do, this camera does really well with low light. That um, one's black and white only, right? Yes, yes, black and white only. So, okay. I've seen some videos of that on YouTube. It's incredible. Yeah. You um, can, I haven't messed with it much, so. You can see in almost complete darkness. Yeah, really? Thing. Okay. Might have to pick one of those up then. If I'd like to fly at night, that'd be cool. All right. Um, so that's it with that. Uh, nothing special about the camera. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is the, uh, we got the Akon 4-in-1 uh, ESC in. Let's go to the side camera again. Is that? Um, this is, uh, it's EFM BB2 chip, uh, supports D-Shot 600. Um, it's, let's see, what else we got on this? Uh, it's all these specifications on it. Um, standard size board here. It's got a, I believe it's got a five volt and three volt built into it for your back to power your uh, flight controller. Um, I haven't used this one myself, but I've been hearing a lot of good things about it. So if you guys want to pick those up, uh, we've got them in stock now. So that's that one. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is the uh, new Race Flight Bolt 4-in-1 ESC. I'll go to the side view again on that. Um, this thing is really nice, actually. I've been spending this past week messing with this, helping a couple of people out here at the shop that, that picked theirs up and been having a little bit of issues with it. Um, been trying to diagnose that and figure out what's going on with that. But what's nice about this is it has a uh, five volt back built into it so you can power your flight controller because the race flight board needs a five volt back um, to power the board. But what's really cool about it is, uh, if I get up close here, you can see here, each, each of these pins right here, the four on the corners, that's for your motors. And then the 4-in-1 comes with a straight pin uh, set that you can just break apart and then stick into your flight controller and solder the pins in. And then the flight controller literally pins directly to the 4-in-1. So I have a flight controller here, and I'll go ahead and plug that in just so I can show you how easy it is. Boom. Simple as that. That's the entire stack right there. Flight controller on top, 4-in-1 on the bottom. I've already got my uh, Spectrum cable uh, soldered up to it. It's pretty simple there with that. It's really nice. Um, once I got some of the issues diagnosed with it, um, it was really, it flies really well. A couple other people that have been using it, it seems to be working really well for them. Um, still want to mess with it some more and see what, what it's all about. Um, trying the new firmware out and stuff on Race Flight 1, too. I've been using that a lot lately also, and it's uh, it's been a good experience so far. So we've got those in stock. Got a few of those left, so if you guys want to pick those up, you know, we got them in stock now. So. Go ahead and pick them up. I'm going to move over to Alex. Bannister says, show me the goblin. Okay. <laughs> Luke wants to the goblin because Luke's going to buy one, right, Luke? <laughs> so this is my goblin. So I have it all painted up, and mine is black and orange. But the uh, mm. production ones, the fuselage is going to be orange. But if you know nothing about this plane, this is uh, the latest thing that we have been working on for quite a while now. It's really good. Um, it is... It's a fighter jet, man. It is a super aerodynamic plane that can go really fast or go surprisingly slow and still remain extremely stable. Uh, people are well exceeding 100 miles an hour with this plane with, with ease, uh, but it can also fly as low as 30 and still be extremely smooth and stable. Um, it has a blow, blow molded plastic body, so there's, it's very durable and can sustain quite a crash and still be in good shape but it also has an incredible amount of room in it uh, that allows you to put 
any gear you could possibly want in there. I have uh, a vector and 433 uh, receiver or transmitter out in the wing um, and a vector and the whole deal in there and still have lots of room for batteries. Um, the, this, the biggest thing about this design is it is just extremely, extremely aerodynamic and efficient. Um, and that allows for very long flight times and uh, just some incredible performance and it has produced probably the smoothest video I've ever seen from uh, an FPV plane before. Yeah, all the pilots that we've had them testing them and stuff have seemed to like it a lot and a lot of videos have come out from them. Yeah, it, it, there's, there's really nothing bad to say about this plane. Yeah. It is just incredible and we're all super excited about it here. Uh, the, the rest of them are in production now and as soon as uh, there's some information on our website now but you um, can't pre-order it for the regular uh, shipment but um, if you want some more information check it out on our website. Well, what's the typical battery used for the Goblin? Uh, typically, so on this one I run a 4S uh, 3300 but you could also put in like a 5100. You want to open up the inside? Maybe we can do a side view shot yeah. of the inside there. Yeah, like We've that. also seen some guys. Uh, you can kind of you can see in there fairly well. Yeah. Um, a lot of real somebody, there. one of our test pilots, was flying it with a uh, I think 7,000 uh, 4S lithium ion pack, and that fit in there really well. But it was light enough that it still allowed for some great performance. Somebody said, uh, bro, don't need sunglasses inside. Oh, we need our strict shades. Yeah, you got to wear the strict sunglasses, man, all times of the day, inside or outside. You, you better have them on. You guys should pick them up. Let's get a side camera so you can see that side view of the sunglasses. Look at that logo. Mmm. Look at those. You know you want a set of those. Come on. Just pick them up. Wait, we, uh, you get a set of these with, when you uh, pre-order the Strix Tactical Flight Pack as well, so... Get a free pair of shades too. So Javon Sanders says, it "Looks like something Batman would fly." He probably would. We considered some Batman decals for this uh, plane at one point. That would be pretty cool. But I think the way they came out for this one looks really good. Yeah. So stay tuned for more information about the Goblin. As uh, the units are finished with production, we will continue <coughs> to uh, tell you guys all about it. And we're just we're really excited about this plane. So we uh, hope you guys stick around and check it out in the future. Now, what? I wanted to ask a question real quick. What did you do for your camera setup here? Can people just kind of drill out the front here and then stick a normal FPV yeah, camera so, in there? Yeah, so so because aerodynamics are uh, one of the key features of this plane, I drilled a hole in the nose. Can you help me out here, Joe? I drilled a hole in the nose and stuck my flight camera right in there just to keep it nice and slippery. But the canopy is two-piece and um, has a shelf built in, just a wood platform where you could mount uh, any FPV camera or an HD cam or whatever you got. Pan and tilt or something. Yeah, pan and tilt, whatever you wanted to do, but uh, I'm not a huge HD video guy. I just don't really it's do that a whole lot. So Even the guys that have been flying and putting their HD camera on there, the video actually looks really smooth. Oh, right? it's incredible. Yeah. yeah, it's just not something that personally I like to do, and yeah, so... Yeah. I just uh, put my flight cam in the nose to cool. save a little Somebody asked, efficiency. will it be available by Halloween? Uh, it'll be available. Absolutely. The, we're hoping to have pre-orders uh, available later this month, but no guarantees on that. It'll definitely be here before Halloween, though, I'd imagine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Be cool to have it come out on Halloween, though, just with the colors and stuff. That'd be kind of cool. But we don't want to make people wait that yeah, long. Yeah, we're not going to make you wait that long. <laughs> yeah. We will. We don't want to say too much because things can still change, but uh, yeah. we are trying to get this out to you guys really soon. So, yep, keep an eye out for that. Um, does anybody else have any questions that we you'd like us to answer? We're f feel oh, free. what's the flight time on it? There you go. The flight time is very uh, variable. I think uh, with the lithium ion pack, that uh, pilot was able to get somewhere around an hour, I think. It depends on how you fly, of course. You can either go, you know, over 100 miles an hour for 20 minutes, or you can go 40 miles an hour for an hour. So, cool. It, uh, it, Long flight time. Yeah, it's very wide range. And you've got your vector set up in there. How far out can you get with one of those? 
Long way. Long way. <laughs> Good answer. All right, any other questions for us? No, that's it. All right. Well, I guess uh, I think that does it, and uh, we're ready to wrap things up. Uh, make sure you follow us on Facebook and uh, join us every Friday at 3 p.m. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and YouTube, username uh, ReadyMadeRC, so you can stay up to date on the latest news and cool stuff that's going on. If you have cool RMRC gear you're flying or you want to show off, make sure you tag us uh, with hashtag RMRC and hashtag StrixRC on Instagram, ReadyMade, any of the social media outlets. And thanks for watching, and we hope you have a great week and weekend. Enjoy flying, and it's supposed to be nice this weekend. Happy Easter, everybody. Yep. So have a good weekend, guys. See ya.